All right, well, what are pipettes? Well, nice to see you guys again, and here we're gonna be exploring the world of pipettes because there's lots of different types of pipettes for a particular job that you might have to do in the lab. Okay, and so if I sort of look at the pipettes and make a little flow chart here, you can see I've got volumetric pipettes. We've got specific volumes here that they're measuring. Uh, very precise, very accurate. So those pipettes are used when we want to be incredibly precise with the amount of volume that we want to measure or that we want to move from one place to another. Then we have graduated pipettes. So they're not as precise. We're going to look at those. And then, of course, we've got the very simplified pasta pipettes. So let's get into it. Okay, well our volumetric pipettes, they are designed when we're making solutions. So um, if you're doing senior chemistry, then you wanna make sure that you've got a very specific concentration in front of you and you wanna make that up. And to do that, you need to use these type of pipettes, right? And they're very accurate. As you can see from the close up here, this is all the different uh, things that you see on the side of the pipette. This is known as a bulb volumetric pipette. And you can see here that we've got an error limit. So when we make um, and draw up some liquid here, it's accurate to 0.045 of a mil. So that's pretty incredible, the accuracy there. Of course, if you use it correctly. Um, then we have the reference temperature. So of course, that accuracy and this volume is assuming that you're using it in a room that's around about 20 degrees Celsius. Um, of course, if you if you are using it in a room that's not that, if you're using it in a hotter room, then this accuracy is going to uh, get worse because as you know, as you heat up things, they tend to expand. And if you're expanding the volume of the glass, then you're gonna change the volume that you're measuring. But more often than not, um, you know, with that level of precision and this rough temperature, you're pretty good to know that uh, for most applications, especially at school levels, you're gonna be measuring 25 mils. Uh, we have the manufacturer up the top there, uh, the grade of glass, and then if we have the actual volume, and then the units that it's measured in. Okay, so that's a volumetric pipette used to make up solutions. Um, so here we have the graduated pipette. Now the graduated pipette has graduations, so let me just enlarge that. You can see here, we've got volume graduation masks. We've still got the details up the top here, which tells us about the volume. This one's a 10 mil pipette, but these ones here, um, aren't as accurate as, a, as our volumetric pipettes. So they're not generally used to make up solutions. These are, are transfer pipettes. We're transferring liquid from one location to another, okay? Um, but they're still pretty accurate when it comes to most uses. Um, here is our um, bulb pipette filler. And this one here, you can see that it's got different areas. And let's look at those areas to look at how we would use it. So up the top here, we press valve A first. Now when we do that, we squeeze the bulb, and when we do that, well, what we're doing is we're releasing air from the top, and we're creating a vacuum inside here. So uh, then we can use S, S is for, stands for sucking up the liquid. When we press that, what we're gonna see is we're gonna see air going into there, filling that bulb up. That's gonna create a suction, which will then allow the water to go up. And then of course we have E, which is empty. That's gonna allow air to go in, and that's gonna allow the, water, the, the liquid to go out of the pipette. So you can see that here in the little video that are showing you how to press those particular areas and that we use that. Another type is called a thumb wheel type where we have like a, a long cylindrical plastic and we just move our thumb and that moves a ratchet system inside and of course that also allows the liquid to be sucked up and dispensed. And then we have the last type of pipette which is called a pasta pipette and this is rough measurements, right? We've got rough markings along here and we just, as you can see uh, here in the video, we can just squeeze it, put it into our liquid, let go and it just sucks up. It's just allowing small liquids to be moved from one place to another and adding things drop-wise to experiments for, exa for example. Okay, so that's it for our pipette use. Once again, um, if you wanna explore these more, go check out all the different types of junior courses that we have at theflipteacher.com. Um, they're in development, so at the moment, you're gonna be getting 40% off if you do purchase it, but each course goes for about four 
who has enough videos to go from year 7 to year 10. So when you do chemistry, you're starting off with basic chemistry in year 7 and you're building your knowledge up until you do year 10 chemistry and some of those videos start to lead you into year 11 and 12. So there are our junior courses there. Then we have our primary science ones which are designed for um, primary school students or elementary science. They're in development so keep your eyeballs peeled for those because they're going to be popping up on the YouTube channel every now and then to show you uh, what they're like uh, until those courses are ready. And then of course we have our senior courses which is senior chemistry and physics. The year 12 courses are all done for chemistry and physics so go check those out. There's lots of practicals in those etc. And year 11 are in the process of being built. So I hope that makes sense to you. You got your notes in colour in your book nice and neat with diagrams if it's relevant and I'll see you in another video.